recently just got the Yellow Park Optimus Prime model kit um, for the 40th anniversary. I charged it because I love Optimus and I don't know what I'm doing. I just figured I'm just gonna make a TikTok about this because I'm bored. Anyway, uh, look, it is in fact 40th anniversary, so that's cool. This is the back. Uh, like with most figures I have, I will be keeping the box um, just because I will be moving at some point and need to store them. So yeah. Also, the box is really cool, and I'm not going to throw this out. Like this is awesome. And here's the other box part. Um, after you take the sleeve off, which is very very cool. Um, I love how it looks. It's very shiny. So from what it looks like, it is not a full model kit, like the one, the pieces where you would break off and everything. This is like the ROTV Optimus model kit that Yellow Park also made. Um, I have him too, he is currently displayed on my shelf. So this is what I expected essentially. And then here's the cool little uh, pamphlet to put them together. I mean, it's pretty straightforward though, to be honest, so I don't think you really need it, but here he is. There's also a bottom compartment with some accessories that come with him. I'm assuming these are supposed to be covers for his legs to cover up his tires, is my guess. And then the sand and the Autobot insignia for some reason. <laughs> and of course his axe. So, and his Iron Blaster. Um, yeah, typically it just comes with a bunch of stuff and hopefully you can you know, mess around with it when you put them together. So according to this, this is supposed to be die-cast metal. I am like feeling around to see like if which parts exactly are die-cast metal because some of it doesn't feel as heavy as it should be. I think this uh, is because this is a little bit cold. Um, so it looks like his legs or his thighs specifically are die-cast. Um, but a lot of it I believe is plastic. Which is fine, because I mean, it's a model kit, and, like, I don't expect them to be super duper heavy, but, yeah. Hey, hi, uh, this is a bit of a face reveal, but I'm gonna be putting Optimus together, and this is, like, the best way to, um, do this. I wasn't too sure, but here he is. Yeah, it's pretty easy to put together, to be honest. I feel like it's fairly straightforward. There's a little interest leadership, um being put together right now. Here's his head. Also, I really like how his head sculpt looks. I can't focus or anything, but it looks nice. Um, interesting expression. Kind of thing, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. His eyes kind of look yeah, funny. Oh, and it lights up because I accidentally just scalped him. Um, so there is obviously a battery that comes that does not come with this. You have to get it yourself. All right, we got five of them done. Like pretty easy. Oh, I'm. These are kind of also feeling like die cast too because they're a little bit cold to the touch. But we'll see. Um, get his hands together. There's articulation here at the fingers, but they are not separate except for pointer finger, which makes sense. So I wonder if I can fold it all the way in. Yeah, I can. So can fold all the way in at least, but with for his other guys, they are just stuck together like this. So, kind of typical. Um, his thumb moves around really well though. And then, together. I really like the painting on these, honestly. Like, especially the scratch marks. Um, it definitely gives more like he's been He's not perfect, which is exactly why I like that. It's so fun. Oh, these are also die-cast. It, I'm, the, I am dropping them on each other and it is metal. <laughs> it's actually straight up metal. There's a piece that I'm missing. Here we go. So these go onto his sides. As you can tell. And then after this, like, oh, that sounds like a ratchet joint. So hold on, let me push this in a little bit more. Was that a ratchet joint or was that just it cracking? No, I guess it is a ratchet joint, but it just clicks once. Anyway, um, talking about his articulation this time, he has, his arms can bend. 
because I'm 10, which is nice. Uh, he probably has full rotation. Yeah, he has full rotation on his arms, although it does kind of pull out him out a bit. This is what, how good his neck, how, how far he can swing that neck, um, which is fine. That's good. Not bad. Yeah, I don't, I think it's just normal. And, um, of course, his, he can do this. <laughs> His, uh, his chest. I don't think there's much of, a, of an ab crunch that he has. So this is as much as of an ab crunch that he has. And then, yeah. It's, uh, it's okay. And of course we got his hip flex. And let's see how good he can do a spread. I have to move his arms off, though. And yeah. Pretty good. And let's see how good his... Uh, not much of a pivot. That's kind of rough. There's, like, no pivot to his toes. It doesn't... That's fine. And then it goes up and down, at least. Um, and then, of course, hopefully his knees can bend a, 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 a decent amount. Yep, duck hip. That's cool. <laughs> that's good. Um, and yeah, I think that's really good for articulation. That's pretty nice. So... Yeah, um, if you like Optimus, if you like Yolo Park stuff, I would recommend getting this because um, honestly, he's very good and very high quality. Like, this is probably one of the more high quality figures that Yolo Park has um, released. But to be fair, that's also hard to compare because Yolo Park releases a lot of really good, um, high quality stuff. Honestly, like, I'm still very, very obsessed with their, um, their two-foot Optimus. Um, I really, really want that. Holy fuck. They have a two-foot Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime statue, and he is amazing looking. I just, I am obsessed with him. He is unfortunately $3,000, but I really want him. But one day I'll have him. So I'm just getting more Yellow Park stuff, essentially, that has to do with Optimus, and yeah. Hope you liked this review. Here he is. That was boring. It's a pretty decent size figure, honestly, for what he is. Um, and then I can compare him to my MLDX Optimus. Height wise. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, but I feel like that's G1 accurate in comparison to this guy. So, I don't mind it at all. <laughs> but yeah. Uh... If you want more like Tory reviews, let me know. They're kind of fun, but they're also very impromptu because I'm very new to it. Um, but yeah, I like Transformers, and reviewing them is kind of fun. So have a good one.